Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to dive into Filecoin Phil. Trust me, this one I think you'll find exciting. If you've been keeping an eye on a crypto space, definitely you want to know what's happening with Filecoin right now. It seems like it's shaking things up in the world of decentralized storage and its price trend seems very interesting. There could be some unexpected surprises coming up and we don't want to miss that. So we're going to study the price then after presenting the project. Yeah, because we have to start by covering what the project and the token and all that is even about. So we even know what we're talking about. But the real gold mine is in the price action. I have spotted a few trends that might make you rethink your position on this token. And I'm breaking this down for you in the second part of the video. So whether you're just curious or if you are actively thinking about investing, I think this video might be for you. But if you do like the content, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. All right, let's get into it. All right, so let's go ahead and break it down. Filecoin is basically the Uber of data storage. You know, instead of relying on one big company like Google or like Amazon to store your files, well, you have Filecoins that uses a decentralized network of people all over the world who have extra storage space on their hard drives, like maybe you do. You pay them with field tokens to store your data and they're incentivized to keep your data safe and secure over time because they have to put up collateral to do the job. Think of it like this. If you have an empty garage or some space in your garage and someone needs a space to store their stuff, you can rent it out to them or rent a portion of it and they pay you for it. That's how Filecoin works. But instead of garages now, think of the digital storage. Instead of cash, think of fill tokens. It's all done through blockchain technology, meaning everything is transparent and secure, and there's no middleman as usual with blockchain. And the beauty of this whole thing is that it's totally decentralized. So the power is in the hands of the community itself, not in the hand of a single corporation or entity. Plus, hear this, developers can even build their own cloud storage apps using Filecoin. It's a pretty big deal if you think about how much data we all use every day. Now, we're going to dive into the chart in just a minute. But before we do, let's talk about some general stats for Filecoin. As of today, Filecoin has a market cap of around $2.2 billion and there are currently 585 million tokens in circulation. The typical hold time for this token is about 26 days, which shows that people aren't just uh, trading it easily. They're holding on to it for a bit longer. Now let's talk about the price itself. The all-time high for Filecoin is about $237, but right now we are looking at a price of about $3.68. That's crazy. If we imagine the token could climb back to its all-time high, that would be an increase of 60 times its price today. I'm going to translate this in terms that you can understand better. So don't take what I say as something that you should do. But if you were to put $1,000 today in fill and it was to climb back to its previous all-time high, you would end up with $60,000. Now, I don't know if it will reach its previous all-time high during the next bull run and I don't know if it could even exceed it. Um, anything remains possible. All right, let's take a look at what's new in the price trends. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know how I roll. I always like to zoom out and take a look at the bigger picture first. I mean, we've got to see the whole chart story here. And the best way to do that is by starting with a monthly candle chart here because we can. And it's like seeing the forest before getting lost in the trees. Now, if you're new here or if you 
wonder what the heck is a candle chart? What is she even talking about? All right, so do you see these bars on the chart? The bars that are blue and red, they are candles and they represent the time frame that you pick. So we picked a monthly candle chart. So each one of them represents an entire month for the price action. So if the candle is green, or in my case, I've got them set to this light blue, it means the price closed higher than where it started for the month. Now, I know that a lot of you probably already know this, but we've got also beginners in the mix too. So we're all learning together here. Okay, so now that we are all aligned on what we are looking at, let's describe this. We can see that the token had a very great time during the last crypto rally here. This is the massive bull flag we see in the middle of the chart. It had a very happy month, so we kind of have now an idea on how well it performed in the last rally. Now, it's also important to note that the surge was really brief here. And we only have one month of takeoff. There's just one really big candle that is green. And we know that the best performing cryptos in the last rally had several months of prosperity. Here's an example with Ethereum's token. We're looking at a steady growth and a build up until it reached the last all time high. Now let's go back to our coin, but let's open a weekly candle chart. Now we can see this surge that we saw on the monthly candle chart with one candle is represented here, kind of like a head and shoulders pattern. And then the second thing I want to point out is this uh, bullish reversal divergence that has been building up for a long time now, precisely for three years. So now next, what I want to do is calculate the price target of this divergence. And for this, I'm going to take the two lows represented on the MACD line. Then I'm going to take the one on the right and trace a horizontal line to see where it intersects with the MACD line before the first low of the divergence on the MACD line. Next, I want to take the point where it intersects and see what is the corresponding price on the price line. That's basically my price target. And if I want to know how long it's going to take to reach it, then I take the time that it took to form that divergence and then I push it after the divergence. That gives me a rough estimate in time when this divergence will end up materializing. So I want to conclude this weekly candle chart examination by stating that this target seems to be around $166 before November 2027, which represents about 47x its current price. I think we can all agree that this is an insane return on investment. So in order to be sure of what I'm saying, what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to open a daily candle chart just to verify that there are no extra surprises that could take us off course of this beautiful trajectory. Okay, so this is our daily candle chart and I have dimmed out what I drew on the previous chart so it's not in the way. Let's see. Again, we are looking at a chart that starts in July 2023, so it's a pretty recent price trend. This will be easier to understand what we can expect in the short term. Here, we can see a head and shoulders that happen this year with a peak of $12 in March. And that's pretty much following the trends of the other cryptos at the time. But that represents about four times the price of today. But I believe that head and shoulders has already fully materialized because our price reached the price it was before the pattern started to appear. So what else? All right, I can see this bearish divergence and as expected, the price has falling down afterwards. But is this divergence fully materialized yet? This is a hidden divergence, a hidden bearish divergence. So the technique I will use is different here. And yes, the answer is yes, it does seem like it was fully materialized. So what else? Here, 
we have another hidden bearish divergence. Let's see again if it's materialized. Yes, it seems like it is. Now I believe we're done with the bearish divergences, so I will start to look at the others that are bull. Here is one. This divergence is a reversal divergence, meaning the price will start going up, breaking the downward trend for a bit. And we want to know what is the target for this. And because it's a reversal type, we can use the previous system. Using the two lows of the MACD, let's trace our horizontal line and see the corresponding price. Here it is, $5.70 before December 2024. But wait, the divergence we actually just traced can be extended further more. So let's do that. Let's extend it. Again, using our previous technique, let's calculate the price target for this one. And here we go, $9.30 before January 2025. So now I think we have a good confirmation that the price should reverse soon. But I would like to know if this is actually the bottom or can I expect the price to dive even further down? I will jump into an even smaller increment. Let's open a four hour candle chart where each one of these candles represent four hour time. So what do we see here? This is a mini reversal bear divergence and it is being actually materialized right now. The actual target for this divergence is about $3.30 before October 2024. But there is another divergence that is forming and this one is a bull reversal divergence. But because we're not yet at target with the bear divergence that is materializing right now, we have to wait a bit more before tracing a target for this new one. But basically, we can expect, I believe, for the target to be between $3.60 and $4. Basically, this is going to happen in two moves. One, we're going to hit the $3.30 target. And then once we're done with that, we're going to start going back up to a potential $4 target. Okay, guys, that's all that I have for now. So I want you to remember that this is crypto and you always need to be extra cautious when we talk about crypto. Even what I say, don't take it as facts. Always do your own research. I can make mistakes and my trading strategies are never guaranteed. So always also have a great risk management plan. You're welcome to comment if you see something I've missed or if you disagree or if you agree with my predictions. Your feedback is always welcome. Let me know also if you want me to dive into a specific crypto for you. I'll be happy to do so. If you find this video helpful, like, share and subscribe to get regular updates. Until next time, keep an eye on the trends, stay curious and let's navigate these crypto waves together.